This Kettleman Living segment is sponsored by Avera Health, moving health forward. As your partner in health, Avera Health can support your goals, big and small, with preventative care and well-being services based on your needs. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States? That's why the Melanoma Monday is such an important initiative. Next Monday, you can take charge of your health and get a free skin cancer screening. It's estimated that every day about 9,500 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with this cancer. A very dermatologist, Michelle Wana, sometimes finds herself delivering that unwelcome news to her patients. She's joining us in the studio today to, uh, in hopes of reducing those numbers. Because the simple truth is that many of these skin cancers could be prevented if people would protect their skin from the sun and stop using tanning beds. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Appreciate yes. it. Could you know, you we know? all love that sun on our face and the feeling and the warmth, especially in, in here. We just think like when summer comes, we want to enjoy it, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a pretty big risk. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, I t always tell everyone we still want you to get outdoors. We don't have that many nice months of the year in this climate. And so we want you out there enjoying the things that you like to do. But if you can do them in a safe way, um, that would be ideal. And it's so easy to get burned on that first time that you're out with the sun. Uh, can you maybe tell us what melanoma is and how it differs from other skin cancers? You bet. Um, so the most common kinds of skin cancer are basal cell skin cancer and squamous cell skin cancer. And those account for about 3 million cases of skin cancer in the U.S. every year. Melanoma is a little less common, so about 200,000 cases per year, but it is the more aggressive form of skin cancer. And so unfortunately, the one that results for, with the majority of deaths. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about how it is treatable if it's caught early. That's correct. So if you can catch melanoma early, it is a very treatable form of skin cancer with just a surgical procedure. And it can form anywhere, but I also noticed around the fingernails and toenails. Yeah, not an incredibly common location, but it absolutely can. And it's not a place that a lot of people are thinking about. So you do want to look around your nails, underneath your nails. So if you're a person who wears nail polish regularly, make sure to evaluate your nails when you do have that off. And if there is a dark line or a streak underneath a nail, that would be something of concern. Now, I think a lot of us too, I, for example, I can't see my back and I, that's often where the sun is. There's places that are just like less in view. I'm not looking. And that's why I think it's probably really important that you actually get screenings and see a dermatologist. And we're going to talk about a way that people can get a pretty easy screening. But before we do that, let's just go over that ABCD of sure. what melanoma looks like, what you're kind of looking for to even give yourself that idea. That Absolutely. You should get so let's talk about the A. So A is for asymmetry. So if you take the mole and you fold it in half, the two halves look different from one another. Okay. Um, B would be for border. So if it's not a nice smooth edge, a nice oval or circle, if it has some irregular changes to the edge, that would be something of concern. So, oh, okay. okay. That's something to look for then. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, C. C. C is for color. So moles should really be one color. If you start developing more than one color or this mole is suddenly a different color than the rest of yours, that's something that should be evaluated. Got it. And D. D is for diameter or size, and six millimeters is kind of our cutoff for something of concern. Um, and a nice way to be able to evaluate that at home is to use a pencil eraser. That's about six millimeters. So. The eraser part, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, if it's getting larger than that, then it's worth having it checked. And E. E is for evolving. So let's say you start with something kind of tiny, and all of a sudden that mole continues to change over time. That's something that should be checked too. We think most moles, if you're going to notice a visible change, will happen over a course of about three to six months. Months. So you can even check that at home by taking a picture on your phone and checking it once a month to see if there's been a change in that mole. Okay. How can viewers uh, participate with the Melanoma Monday? Sure. So you can call to schedule an appointment. Um, it's kind of the kickoff to Skin Cancer Awareness Month in May. So Melanoma Monday is always the first Monday in May, and there will be skin cancer screenings across the country for this event. And it's occurring at Lewis Drug on East 26th Street and Sycamore Avenue from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. And we screen about 150 patients a year at this event. So it's a great opportunity if you have a particular spot that you're concerned about or someone else has suggested that you have evaluated, it's a great chance to get that checked for free um, by one of our local dermatologists. It's a collaborative effort between Avera Dermatology, Dakota Dermatology, and Sanford Dermatology. So we all work together for this event. And it, like, it can be kind of challenging to make doctor's appointments in general, right? And yes. so it's easy to put it off and then you maybe have a wait because there's a lot of people that need to be seen. So this is a great opportunity just to like cross that off your list, Absolutely. go get the screening. And it's not necessarily like 
a full body screening too. You're not going to make somebody, people won't feel uncomfortable in that environment. Correct. Okay. We are happy to evaluate whatever you would like us to evaluate. So if you have a particular lesion of concern, we can check that. If you would rather have us check easily accessible areas like your face and arms, we'd be happy to lift your shirt to check your back. But absolutely, whatever you're most comfortable with is what we would evaluate. What are the most common areas that people, that you do find melanoma? Yeah, the highest risk locations are the back in men and then actually the back of the legs in women, which is not a place that people think to look very frequently. So we do suggest, you know, try to check yourself over at home, get out a hand mirror, look at the back of your legs, use a full length mirror. Uh, not everyone is looking at every inch of their skin regularly. It's also helpful if you're seeing the same person to have your hair cut, um, that they are a great resource because people can't see their own scalp and people can develop melanoma there as well. I should probably point out too that melanoma can come back. So after somebody is diagnosed with this, they should be checked how often after? Correct. So usually after we've diagnosed a melanoma, we see patients pretty r regularly in the office, so about every three to six months, because we know if you've had one melanoma, it's possible for you to get another. That risk is about nine times higher to develop a second melanoma. Certainly we're watching to make sure that the first one remains clear, but we're also checking for another that could develop. And after you diagnose at least something suspicious or if you see something in a screening, what are the following steps? Sure. So basically what we're going to do is evaluate your skin. If we do have some areas that we think are concerning for you, we mark them on a diagram on your screening form at the event. And then we actually send a copy of that screening form back with you. And we give you all of the information for the offices so that you can contact the one that would be most accessible with your insurance coverage and that sort of thing and your preferences. Um, and then you can call and let them know that you were screened at Melanoma Monday, that we had no us something that was of concern and we do recommend that you follow up. And then if somebody does follow up, say for example with you, what would the next processes be? Biopsy? Yeah, something? absolutely. So we would probably maybe do a more detailed exam to that day of places that we weren't able to evaluate at the screening. And then if we did have something of concern, then we would do a small skin biopsy, which is easy to do in office. Um, it's kind of like having a minor dental procedure, but often even easier than that. So small amount of local numbing medicine. We take a very small sample to send into the lab to be evaluated. And, and then we call you when we get those results back and come up with a plan. I would say I've had a skin biopsy and it was easier than the dentist. Like oh, yeah. I would well, rather do that. Most patients say that. So <laughs> I'm sorry for all of the dental providers, yeah. but, um, but yes, it usually is much easier than the dentist actually. This event is coming back after a five year break. Is that right? Correct. So um, it's, impor it's important to do this. So what, what's the future look like? More of these? You're going to do more of this? Yes. Typically it's an annual event and with many things that kind of were thwarted with COVID, this was another one that kind of came to a screeching halt. Um, it was all in the works and um, it did not happen in May of 2020. So we're excited to be back. Um, we're hoping that we haven't seen a huge accumulation of concerning cancers for patients, um, but we're happy to be back in screening and I anticipate that it'll be back to an annual event. Typically in the screening, I know you screen over 100 people usually, but how many of those do result in diagnosing melanoma? So um, there's usually at least one a year um, typically that we find and many other of the more common types of skin cancer mm -hmm. like basal cell and squamous cell or even some precancerous lesions that we will find and recommend that people have evaluated. Well, okay. thank you. This is a great event and definitely worth reminding people about skin cancer and getting that checked out. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for having me. With more than 200 clinics and 33 hospitals across the five-state Upper Midwest region, you can count on finding an Avera provider and exceptional health care nearby. To schedule an appointment with Avera Health Dermatology, call 605-322-6960. If you need to schedule an annual physical or urgent care appointment, you can search for the provider nearest you online at avera.org. Again, appointments are required for Melanoma Monday, free screenings. The number to call is 1-877-282-8372. This Kello Land Living segment has been sponsored by Avera Health, moving health forward. As your partner in health, Avera Health can support your goals, big and small, with preventative care and well-being services based on your needs.